Okay, I've recovered from my trauma from the previous part of the playthrough and I'm ready to continue. So I've reloaded to where, uh, before we went down the ravine and uh, yeah, we're going to have to get that shiny crystal. I seriously don't know how anyone could be expected to figure this out because, you know, the game has told you don't go into the swamp and, um, you know, you sort of barely escaped it. But, and also apparently what we need to do is uh, be like Brian Blessed and dive rather than swim and I'm assuming we have to get out into the middle of it so yeah let's try that shall we let's try it around here no not die dive it's too darn shallow here okay well do I have to trial and error everywhere is that what you're telling me damn it where isn't it shallow ah there we go you have stepped into a deeper area of the swamp. You are forced to swim. Okay, let's dive. Okay. So, yeah. How long till I run out of oxygen? <laughs> I guess we'll see. We're no Gyber Streetwood here. The uh, the only way to die in Monkey Island is uh, to be stuck underwater for more than 10 minutes. because oh. You can't go on. You do not have enough oxygen in your lungs. You panic. The need for oxygen causes you to become irrational. And you... Yeah. Your desire for air causes you to inhale large quantities of water, which results in suffocation. Such a horrible way to die. Another senseless tragedy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, how the hell do we not drown? Okay, I'm going to try hold breath. You take a deep breath, filling your lungs to near bursting and head for the depths below. Okay, good. Let's see. It's still really far to go. Like, I couldn't hold my breath for this long. <laughs> I actually only learned to swim very recently. Uh, a couple of years ago, year and a half. Um, and I'm still not good at it. <laughs> I can barely float somehow. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, come on. Don't be fiddly. Okay, here we go. Now there's some light coming from up there. I assume... That means there's a cavern with some air, maybe? I mean, what, what kind of idiot wouldn't take a deep breath before you go diving underwater? Look at that, though. Shiny. In a small grotto below the swamp, a strange light dances off the walls of this cave. Its origin, a glowing gem situated on top of a boulder. How handy. Take gem. Take the glowing gem. Why is it still light in here? <laughs> I guess because I'm holding it. That makes sense. Okay, so again, hold breath. Oh, get in for Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like you have to do a lot of things in this game that really should be reflexes or the autonomic nervous system of the of the character. You know, like, take a breath before you go underwater. Like, it's almost instinct, isn't it? You'd think, come on. There we go. All right. And get back to the surface and go down the ravine. And we'll see. Come on, go faster. And we'll see if I can make it without a walkthrough. <laughs> we'll see how far I can make it without a walkthrough. Okay, we made it. And now... We have a light to guide our way. Uh, I think. Uh, take out gem. Uh, use gem. It's f well, okay. Uh, what? We, take gem out of pocket. I, there we go. You take out the gem and hold it in your palm. The room is illuminated by its glow. You hear a small shriek and the sound of many footsteps moving away from you. Uh, I guess there was something waiting in the dark to eat us. Okay. Can we get past these rocks? Somehow? There we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, I'm gonna fall into a hole. The ground below your feet disappears. You tumble down through the darkness. Oh! I'm alive! How extraordinary. 
<laughs> yeah, brush off. That was rather a spectacular entrance. All systems seem to be intact, though. Good. Oh, it's him! It's these guys! Hello! The dwellers mumble something. The translator responds with, Follow us, beanpole. They hurry away. Okay. <laughs> beanpole. That's hilarious. Okay. This is a good thing I befriended the, uh, the little one. Wait, where am I? Uh, can I? There. Okay. <laughs> Why, hello. Welcome to our canyon. You look to be from out of town. On behalf of all of us, I would like to thank you for saving our compadre from the hunters. You are welcome to stay in the canyon as long as you like. When you are ready to leave, simply say the word and my assistants will show you the only way out for a size, for a being of your size. When you leave, however, we must seal the exit behind you for our own protection. Goodbye and good luck. Alright, well, why do I want to stay? I mean, no offence, but, you know, what What are we going to do? Play poker? <laughs> Talk to, what are they called? Dwellers. Let's just look around. You're at the south end of the gorge bottom. <laughs> there are more odd rock formations here. There are still more of those little pink folks. Uh, look at uh, pink folks. Uh. The g okay, uh, what, is, what are they called? Dwellers? I Creature, then. These guys look are quite fleshy and pink looking. Yeah, so am I. But <laughs> okay. They just seem to be standing there holding a rock, like putting their hand on it, oddly. Okay. I'm going to save before I do anything else. Now, I have a problem with the saves in the... Uh, this was causing me quite a lot of frustration. I have no more space on this emulated floppy disk. So I'm going to have to save over some... I've been having to save over some of these to make it work. But not before I was messing around and crashed the emulator and had to do half that shit all over again. The, solid, uh, the rock walls are too tall and solid to pass through. Yeah, okay. All right. So what is there to do here other than uh, just leave? I mean, probably something. What have we got in our inventory? Cage key, darling. Oh, cage key might be nice. Give him a cage key. And uh, not cake. Give cake. No. I was just thinking if... Uh, let's try to put key on rock. Yeah, okay. I'm just thinking if we give them the key, you know, it'd be a nice thank you for... I guess this is the exit? Uh, rocks? What? I know I don't possess it. I'm trying to... Okay. Yeah. Okay, look. Rock formations. It's, it's not in view. You just said it was. Game. Okay, I know, I know. It's It's a limited parser. There's only so much it can do. Can I go this way? No. So what are my options here? Other than just leave. Can I just leave then? Well, how do I... He said, tell us when we... Uh, talk. Uh, creature. They don't speak, they just giggle. Okay. Uh, well, how do I... Oh, okay. You are not constructed in a manner that will allow you to do anything to the boulders. You might get one of those little pink guys to move one of them. Okay, so um, ask creature to push boulder. Well, then, how do we tell him to do it then? Uh, tell creature to push. What do you want? How do you want me to do it? <laughs> Why did I choose to play a game with a parser? Okay, how about kick? Kick him. Kick creature. How typical. The simple mind is to violence in times of frustration. Yeah, well... Ah. <laughs> For fuck's sake. 
Okay, you're supposed to say the word. <sighs> yeah, I looked that up, but that this game is trolling me. I cannot believe it's that's how obnoxious it is. Wow. Uh, game. What's what's happening? No, don't adjust your monitor. We have taken control. There is no light source in the vicinity. You couldn't see guano if it was pasted to your proboscis. Okay, so take out gem. What do you mean that? that okay, take gem out of pocket. It's not seem to be. How did I do it before? Wait. Wait, I don't have the gem. What do you mean? What, where did it go? Okay. Uh, suddenly, an inhuman guttural moan echoes through the narrow, narrow caves. You are not sure which direction it came from. The only thing you do know for sure is that you've just soiled your undergarment. Oh, I. What? Why don't I have the gem anymore? Did I? Did I drop it? Oh my god. I just die. <laughs> really? You don't understand? Die? Okay. Uh, give up. Yeah. <laughs> Let it eat me. <sighs> Talk. Blow the whistle. Yeah, that didn't do anything. <sighs> okay, let's load again. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you notice the glowing gem near the cave opening. Okay. Take gem. Brilliant. <laughs> this game is for masochists. Like, I mean, it's... <sighs> there are so some of the old ways just are just not good. Incredible. Okay, take gem out of pocket. What? What do you mean you can't obtain that here? I've got it, haven't I? Glowing gem. Glowing gem provides gentle illumination. So, uh, yeah, get out gem. What do, you, do something with the gem. Take out gem. Take what? Hold gem. Can't maneuver with the gem in your hand. Uh, yeah, inhuman guttural moan. Uh, well, what am I going to do with it then? Okay, can I just take it out to sort of? Can I like strap it to my head? Strap gem to head with supporter. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. Uh, use gem on supporter. No. What do I have that I can use with it? Can you use items with other items? Keycard, puzzles, support, whistle, cage key. Uh, put gem in mouth. Ah! Better! Not a great deal better, but better. Okay, I hope I don't swallow it. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, there we go. This really is like a learn the dog. Like it's exactly that sequence. Uh, hmm. This way. God's sake! What an undignified adventure this is. Is this gonna lead somewhere? Oh, good. More caves. More mazes. <laughs> There's just no way this guy would have survived. There's just no way. All the sequels are bullshit because this game is impossible. <laughs> I do hope the third game is less obnoxious than this. Um, because, I mean, what? <sighs> Who installed these ladders anyway? Those pink guys don't seem like they have this kind of technology. Like, they don't, they don't wear clothing. They don't seem to have any tools. I mean, that, that leader seemed to be holding some kind of scepter or something. Maybe he just stole it. 
I don't know. Oh god. Oh come on. Is this really just a maze? Is that all it is? Oh man. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> oh, I hate mazes. Oh! Brilliant! <laughs> oh my! Now they know why you want it. Now you know why they wanted you to close the hole behind you. You've become victim, the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. Wow. As if the maze wasn't punishing enough. 